guys, if you're new to my channel, just click the subscribe button. Click that little ring ding dong bell. Send me notifications. Save that. Stay tuned for more videos. Enjoy the content. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy DD Kills. And you're probably wondering, why am I wearing glasses? Why is my room dark? Well, it is bloody baking out here in the UK. It is 10.17 and it is like 24 degrees and in Britain it's normally cold and raining but 24 degrees here is at freaking 35 degrees in Dubai or something. It's so humid, sticky and boiling so I've had to basically turn the brightness down in my whole room. I put sunglasses because I've got literally a light beaming up there so that's literally right in my eyes so to avoid that as you can see the reflection glasses are the best thing this is literally like my fourth take on the video as well because i just keep getting messages 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 but today's video is typical things to expect when you go to india and i love making these indian videos because they're just bloody funny and a lot of indian people are just so dopey and you know it's no racism it's no discriminating i'm indian myself i see it i've been i know what to expect so let me give you a few tips of any of you lot are going which i really doubt and a lot of the places when you go to india the main thing you're gonna expect is really old men who look about 70 years old always wearing like a white robe and like a little tupac bandana type of thing but they look like a pedo because they're just sitting there on like a brick wall eating these Indian things, chewing it with their mouth open so loud. It smells like you're down in Ealing Road in London, whoever knows that area. Good luck to you. Same with like Southall, it stinks and it's just so crap. But that's not the worst thing. They look at mainly every like person that is under the age of 25 in the weirdest way and you would think that these old grandpas got nothing better to do than that. These will have their glasses on like that and they're just looking at the guys just go by like this. Mate, do you know how cringy that is? That is just off and oof, just makes you wanna just, ah, I don't even want to say it man. But you got to be wary of these old Indian people because they will do anything. They'll do your black magic. They're going to stay you down. Even if you just look at them, you just feel like running away with their crusty toes just literally at your face. These are don't care. They're not wearing no shoes. They're not wearing no sandals. They're not wearing no socks. The best you're going to get is crusty ass feet. Hands down. And if you like crusty feet, be my guest. You got a foot fetish, be my guest. Go India. You will love it. And another thing when you go to India is, if you love animals, you love nature, you just want to relax, go to India. You're going to see loads of cows on the street, probably on the motorway as well these days. Just having poo come out every time. Casually you're going to see Indian people just stepping on the poo because they think it's good luck. <sighs> Makes me uh, want to not go there anymore. But for all you animal lovers, go there, you know, because they think that cows are gods. Uh, that's why a lot of Indian people do not eat beef. So, you know, if you are a vegan and you are against animals in the sense of you don't want to eat them, you don't want to kill them, you don't want to watch them get slaughtered or any of that stuff, India's the place to go. You know, you can probably get married to the cow for, you know, let it poo on you, earn that respect, get that, you know, that have uh, good belief and faith and stuff. Trust me, you love animals, go India. You put, the thing is, in India, the dogs are 90% are strays as well. Like you see cows on motorways and streets and probably gonna headbutt your window and stuff. And that's all calm and casual there. No one really cares. It's like, you don't even need to have one of those red toro things. They're just gonna come at you. But trust me, dogs there, they're scary, man. And I love dogs, I really do but these dogs are flipping scary you just look at them they will chase you and they're not, they're not chasing you just to play aka adam they're chasing you to eat because they use a lot of strays and they're skinny and they're scary they're like one of those greyhound dogs on a racetrack 
they are flipping scary. Oh my god. And another thing in India is there is no such thing as a red, amber, green traffic light. You're gonna see it, but it's only there for cosmetics. <laughs> it has no use. I mean, in India, the color red means go, color yellow means go, the color green means just flipping, rag the car and hope for the best and crash if you want. There's no traffic lights in other words. And along the traffic lights, pedestrian crossing. It looks beautiful there. Really, really looks like they took some time and thought to actually make it really nice. But there's no such thing as that either. You could be standing there for half an hour, no car is letting you go. You dare walk, you want your body to go flying. These lot do not care about pedestrian crossing, honestly. And you think whatever country you're in, UK or central London or, th or the city is bad when it comes to horn. You go to a bloody quietest road in India and it's like you're in a city in whatever country you are from. It is terrible. What you hear is beep beep, get out of the way. But obviously in Indian, like a dry or Hindi or something. And it's just like move, get out of my way. Literally, it's just so annoying. You can't sleep, the atmosphere is disgusting, the smell is bad, it's awfully polluted as well because they don't believe in save the ozone layer and all this and that. Um, and another thing you'll see a lot of the time is Indian kids, now they, I haven't been in India since I was 8 years old, so I can only tell you what I know. When I was there from 8 years old you will see little kids sadly who are like 9, 10, maybe even 5, 6, running down anywhere, city, quiet roads, industrial areas, naked. Nobody cares apparently. And let me just turn this Facebook rubbish off. Uh, but yeah, nobody cares at all. And you see casually women breastfeeding with her, I've got nothing against that. But they literally just show everything, everything. They don't care. Nudity in India is nothing. You know, you can just take out all your clothes, everything, they don't care. It's like, your India's roads are your home. Indian supermarket is your home. Put their clothes on, wear it, dress to impress and go. That's the way they see it. And, man, I'm telling you, you go India, you're, you're going to struggle. I'm Indian myself. I haven't been in... 12 years, there's a reason why, as you can imagine. 12 years I haven't been in India, and even if I could go for free, I really don't want to go. If I don't go, and you guys want to, either I'm losing it, or you guys are just special. And certain parts in India are actually dangerous, real talk. They are actually ridiculously dangerous, so you need to know the right people, the right areas. Also go in groups, if you go out in the evening time and you're a girl, I ain't getting into detail but you know exactly what can happen. It's like, it's really awful in certain states at certain times. But honestly, India is a no-go for me. And I'm probably until I'm maybe about 70 years old and I got nothing, or I got a family, I've got loads of money. Even then, I'm still not retiring there. Spain is my retirement place or Portugal, do you know how lit those places are? But anyway guys, I think this is going to be a 9-10 to 10 minute video, a long one, which I've recorded on Tuesday, 17th of August, so I'm trying to blend it all in, trying to get the new videos out, old videos out, everything out, just to make it even, so there's not only new, then you go to old, it's just a mix and match, and obviously you can tell when it's a new video. When is an old video, just by looking at the quality. But anyway guys, hope you liked it. Remember to rate, share, comment, subscribe, all the normal little things you do. Catch you later. And peace.